Hi guys, I'm Aki Sky here, and today we are going to take a look at the ZD Toys War Machine Mark One from the movie Iron Man Two. So I just got this today. Um, special thanks to Sir Jasper D. Zeluman for hooking me up with this. I got this a bit late, but maybe it because of the shipment I'm not sure but I'm really excited to check this one out so let's take a look at our box here is the front of the box it says War Machine Mark 1 Marvel Iron Man 2 this is the Infinity Saga um, by ZD Toys so this is the side And here's the back. The bottom and the top are just uh, plain. Uh, no designs at all. But it's fine. We are not here for the box. We are here for the figure. Let's unbox our figure now. I heard a lot of things about this figure mostly are good and maybe some complaints about the Gatling gun but this is the first time I'm going to check this one out I heard the Gatling gun isn't articulated as the or it's not articulated like the SHP Quartz Mark 1 but based on the photos that I've seen this one looks really damn good it looks like the mini hot toys or this one looks like a mini hot toys that is the reason why uh, I do uh, purchase a mark 6 I think maybe a year ago I'm not sure so here we go again this is the box it opens up to the side and here is our war machine so it comes with War Machine itself and the accessories like the Gatling gun, the I think these are submachine guns, the effect parts for the flight and the action base. It only comes with one pair of um, replacement hands though a open hand I think this is a repulsor not sure so let's check our figure there is our War Machine Mark 1 really good really buffy This one looks really awesome. So there is our war machine. Let's place them like that. Let's keep it. Keep this to the side. Then we are going to open our other tray by the way i got this for i think 1350 philippine peso and of course that's a really really good price for this kind of figure i mean 
the SH Figuarts was really good at that time, but but this one looks even more amazing compared to that. Fortunately, unfortunately the uh, the Gullin gun at the back from what I heard doesn't have any articulation so it's a bummer but as long as the figure itself looks great then I am really really fine with that don't I'm not bothered at all so here's the other tray machine gun looks decent I'm not sure how to attach this one but let's see so there is a hole in here and there's uh, sh should just be a friction fit let's see Yeah, it just, it's just a friction fit. Then there is a peg here. Oh, sorry. There is a hole in here for the pegs. So you just snap those. I think that's it. So that's your war machine. Then, we use or you attach the they call this the machine guns i'm not sure how to attach this maybe like this let's see yeah i'm not sure how to snap this that yeah I think so I think it's supposed to be like that yeah let's snap the accessories first before going on with a with our review so there are holes in here for the tags I'm not sure if I it's touch it the correct way but if it fits it fits yep yeah that's it so there sir complete war machine I'm not going to use this stand, but I'm really curious about the effect parts. I think this is for the beat. But, well, let's check the articulation first because I want to check if I can fit this at the back. I, I know that there is a opening hatch here so the head is in a double ball peg you can do whatever you want the arms can go 360 the elbows can go unfortunately up to that far there's no ab crunch but you you can uh, use the articulation of the chest really good and you can extend your figure or extend the upper body to make it a bit bigger really good um you can i think that's it you can go that far for the back and 
this far in the front the legs can only kick that far but there is a drop i think what did they call this the old g or oh no it doesn't have like the mark six i think yeah i don't think so ah uh, yeah it, it can you can drop the legs but not you it's not that far unlike the mark six but you can only go that far that far back yeah that far forward only the side is kind of decent and the knees can bend that far oh what's that okay the machine gun fell the feet really stiff i'm afraid to even move this a bit but yeah, let's leave it at that so yeah i leave that I'm going to leave that first. By the way, the hand is in a double, uh, in a ball peg, sorry. It's just a regular ball peg. So, yeah. This is open. Uh, yeah, this one doesn't open up. But this, I think it does. Yeah, there you go. There is a booster at the back, which I think this one can fit, right? Yeah, this one can fit, but I'm not going to use this one, so I'll leave it like that. Obviously, it goes here, but it's also stiff. So yeah, there's your war machine. This is just a quick review. Um, okay, there. If you ask me if I'm going to recommend this, definitely. It's uh, for one, it's cheap. For another reason, this one looks really, really damn good. Compared to the, I used to have the SH Figuarts War Machine Mark One. This looks a lot better. People might not agree, but I really think this one is a better figure. Fortunately, you lack the effect parts, like the effect for uh, the, the effect parts for the machine gun and the Gatling gun. The SH figures uh, have that. Unfortunately, this one really lacks, and this one keeps falling off. What's going on? So let's zoom it a bit. So you can check the details. It's really, really good. Feels good in hand too. That's something you want. That's something you have to look for when you have, when you are trying to buy a figure. Really damn great figure. And it's stable, it can stand so for size comparison here he is next to the iron man mark six they really look good together i just wish this has a bit more articulation because this one is really good in terms of articulation like this one can do the Iron Man uh, landing pose. Ooh. 
really damn well. See? This one looks great. Well, they both look great, but this one has the articulation, while this doesn't have the articulation of the Mark VI. But in terms of looks, I'm not sure I'm a really big War Machine fan. Used to have the Hot Toys, and this really looks like a Hot, to a hot Toys that was just shrink down. So yeah, good value for money. It's cheap, and you can have a great figure at the same time. So I think that I covered everything. I'm not going to check the stand. I'm not going to use it anyway, even though the stand looks a lot better compared to the, well, for me. This looks a lot better compared to the Mark VI. I love stands like this. I'm not that fan of the transparent white because it has the lettering right here and it's clear white. It's, I don't know, it's something that, well, I don't prefer the stand to be transparent. At the same time, it has a uh image like that so yeah there we go guys um thank you for watching this is amakyo the sky and i'll see you again on my next review bye bye thank you for watching